decree that clarity by the Holy Ghost in our minds and our thoughts. Our minds renewed by the word of God. Revelation knowledge keeps growing big in your heart until nothing else matters. Akelene matoka bila gada gaba yata naka tele mene gada gaya. Hey Shakara. A decree that light shines on your part. Prince of the gospel. Agara tonaka. Men that sit in darkness. They see great light. You will never dash your foot against a stone. The nations are coming to the brightness of the light. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross ceased. If I start preaching legalism, which is circumcision, and not the cross, then the offense of the cross ceases. That is, there is a gospel you preach, nobody persecutes you. That is, there is a gospel you preach that is a feel-good gospel. There is a gospel you preach that is sugar-coated. It doesn't offend anybody. It's a gospel that everybody comes to. But then, when you preach that kind of gospel, it's a pseudo-gospel. Because it deletes the offense of the cross. That means the message of the cross is an offense to organize religion. It's an offense to organize religion. You will not have all hell break loose until you start preaching specifically the message of the cross. I establish that the message of the cross is fact sensitive. The message of the cross is fact sensitive. It is Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the message of the cross. Brother Paul will say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God. The gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. It is not the power of God unto destruction. It's not the power of God unto disaster. It's not the power of God unto damaging lives. It is the power of God unto salvation. But what saves is the gospel of a man. The gospel of the man Christ. Which means the message of the cross is the message of a person. That's why Paul in Romans chapter 10 verse 14 will say, How can they believe on whom? So there is a whom you are supposed to preach. How can they believe on whom they have not heard? So what they ought to hear is about a whom. The gospel is not the message of breakthrough. The gospel is not the message of motivation. Uh -uh, uh -uh. The gospel is not the message of prosperity. Mm -mm. It is the gospel of Christ. The message of Christos. What is Christ? The name of God's humanity. Christ died. That's the gospel. He was buried. And the complete gospel, he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Which means... That the preaching of the gospel is not the preaching of freebies. Come to Jesus, your problems will be over. Come to Jesus, you'll be free. Come to Jesus, things will happen to you. No, it is the message of a person. And what is the content of Jesus? He shall save his people from their sins. He didn't say he shall save his people from poverty. He didn't say that. He didn't say he will save his people from struggling. He shall save his people from their sin. The message is specific. Somebody said to me, well, Dr. Damina, wouldn't God supply things to people? Well, he does. He does. He makes his rain to fall on the good and on the bad. He makes the sun to shine on the evil and on the good. But even with the miracles, no miracle is eternal apart from salvation. 
if you are healed today, you will be sick another day. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead after four days. Is Lazarus still alive? Which means he died again. No miracle outside salvation is permanent. So we can't be wasting our time on temporal things. When there are eternal realities. So the gospel is the message of Christ. Please, that's very important. Look at Galatians chapter 6 verse 14. But God forbid. Hallelujah. But God forbid that I should glory. Save in the cross. My glory is in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom the world is crucified to me. And I to the world. I do not glory in things. I glory in the cross. I do not emphasize things. I emphasize the cross. God forbid that I should glory in anything. Save the cross of Christ. Philippians chapter 3 verse 18. For many walk of whom I have told you often. And now tell you even weeping. That they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Look at the next verse. Whose end is destruction. Whose God is their belly. They preach for food. They seek God for things. They come to God for temporal things. They are enemies of the cross. Whose God is their belly. And whose glory is in their shame. Who mind earthly things. They will not go to a church where you won't teach prosperity. Where you won't teach success keys. Where you won't teach motivation. Because their concentration is on earthly things. They are enemies of the cross. This is serious. They are enemies of the cross. Who mind earthly things. Next verse. For our conversation. Glory to God. Is in heaven. From where also we look for the savior. The Lord Jesus Christ. The revelation and message of the cross will be seen in that which the spirit revealed. It will be seen in that which the spirit revealed concerning the sufferings of Christ and the glory that will follow. The cross reveals the desire of God. The cross reveals the intent of God. The cross reveals the purpose of God. The cross reveals the wisdom and the counsel of God. This wisdom of God is committed to preaching. 1 Corinthians 1.21 For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Next verse. Kushataya. For the Jews require a sign. Jewish people want miracles. If they don't see miracle, God is not there. If they see a miracle, God is there. They require a sign. And the Greeks seek after motivation. They seek after wisdom, motivation, intellectual messages. Not the cross. Next verse. But we preach Christ crucified Kashotanaba. we preach christ crucified unto the jews a stumbling block you know the message of the cross is a stumbling block to miracle seekers they can't bear it the message of the cross irritates miracle seekers they can't understand why instead of giving them miracles you are telling them about Jesus died. He was buried. On the third day, he rose again. It's a stumbling block to miracle seekers. And unto the Greeks, the message of the cross is foolishness. How can you say he came to save people and he died? What kind of savior will die? No wonder they told him, come down from the cross and we will believe you. They can't take the cross. The message of the cross is the content that the laborer takes to the harvest field. The message of the cross is the content that the laborer must carry to the harvest field. Because that is the message that saves. 
but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God 